All right, Fanola. Hi. Hey. <laughs> So excited. I'm so excited to have the opportunity to interview you and to give you space to share your story uh, with your audience and hopefully the world. Um, so welcome. Thank you. It's very weird to be on the other side. <laughs> the interviewee chair. Yes. Oh. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Don't be because it's here we are. Cool. Uh, I wanted Thank to just start. I wanted to start by just sharing with people how you how I came to you. Okay. I won't take up too much space, but I just wanted to. I looked in my diary, and we're going back to April 2018. Wow. Yeah. And wow. Yeah. Wow. So not far off two years. Um, wow. And at the time, I was definitely on this kind of cusp of. I needed to do something about my brand. I needed to do something about my identity and my business. And I was really struggling. And I went to a conference and you were one of the speakers. Yeah. And I will never forget. I, will, I remember the detail of that so well. Wow. Because, well, first of all, you know, you talk about marketing, great marketing being your truth shared. And it was this idea of truth. Yeah. And you shared the story of one of your clients, a gentleman um, who'd been in business a very long time. And you talked about uncovering his truth. Yeah. And I remember thinking, wow, here's a person who uncovers your truth, doesn't give you your truth, doesn't create your truth, doesn't put a brand around you, but actually lets the brand emerge from you. And I just went, I have to have some of that. <laughs> I have, that's exactly what I'm looking for. This person, and you are so human, you are so authentic, you were so like your passion for your craft was so obvious in the room. And I just, I just wanted to work with you. And the next day I sent you an email. I know I was amazed. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And from that process, it, it was the, the truth emerged. And I, I'm so proud of what we co-created in the end. Yeah. Um, lovely. And the friendship that blossomed from there. Yeah. Well, it's very, um, it's a very intimate thing uncovering a truth yes. and and I think also and I say this a lot too I think you have to be brave and you are really brave and I think anyone who's brave enough to look in and see see the potential and allow it to come up and not hide it mm. and, and that requires bravery and I do say this to clients too because I remember not only even in December, I was working with somebody and I, and we did this uncovering exercise also. And uh, <laughs> I do say this and I'm being bold. I say, do you have the balls for it? Yeah. Oh yeah. You have to. It, Fanola, it's, it's such a vulnerable process. Yeah, it really is. Because it felt like, um, like it coming out for me. Yeah. You know, I literally took off all the masks and revealed so I agree with you. It, it requires daring. It requires courage. But what you do is you facilitate that to emerge. Mm. Like I felt in very safe hands with you. Um, and actually, to some extent, you need somebody who is going to be with you in that journey and go, yes. But this I had to do it for myself, remember. Yeah. I had to do it for myself. And I always remember this. And um there's a media specialist guy, so I'll give a nod to Ian Nocter who helped me. And he's radio, he's been on the news here in Ireland. He does a lot of media work now still, but a long time ago. And we were w working together on um, that single signature speech, you know, that idea? Yeah. And I kind of was so busy at the time, and I just thought uh, Ian might help me, and we worked together on it. Mm -hmm. And he pulled information from me, you know, as I talked and he would know me anyway, he'd know my vibe. And, uh, and then I was, and when you hear someone else speak your words, sometimes it's hard yeah. because it's not quite, it's not, it is true and also not quite true, you know, in simultaneously. Yeah. And, um, and I was getting really frustrated. I always get frustrated when I have a breakthrough, but anyway, so, <laughs> So he said, well, but Fanola, what do you believe in then? And I went, because I was just, you know, mm. I said, I believe. And I was really angry. 
I believe that great marketing works. Not fragmented, not a little bit here, a little bit. You've got to, you've got to believe in the greatness of it. And that works. And that's where my own, so my own brand, which started, which was Finola Howard. And yeah. we turned the how of the Finola Howard into how great marketing works. Yeah. That was part of my own name. So part of my own truth, you know, and, and that's the brand marketing is this, the piece here, the piece here, the piece there, and nothing speaks or connects yeah. and then I wanted in the next stage of my own growth I wanted to build something that was separate from me what had a nod to me yeah. and and that's why I built how great marketing works so it's separate from me so my consulting is my Finola Howard but the online program that system yeah is how great marketing works yeah and and I remember you probably remember this too I remember being it's a bit a bit uh that's the why i talk about the bravery thing because it is that conversation that you have of who am i to say how great marketing works you know <laughs> that kind of thing i know i know i know yeah and then i just went ah, i'm doing it anyway because that's what i believe yeah yeah so, so tell us more it's for those who don't know you, tell us a little bit more about what it is that you do, the service you provide, the space you're in. I have been a marketer since I was 12. <laughs> <I'll leave> you. <laughs> so, and I believe in it and I don't believe the negative stuff about it. Hmm. Um, I did the mini company program when I was in school and went through and I always was on committees organizing everything always did uh, mini company all that all my life up into college everything uh, I worked for KPMG and in at the time it was definitely recession time because the 80s I uh, worked in uh, the company law department which you call company secretarial but it's legal company law and even then working doing that I uh, worked in the department to create an internal marketing plan to help them promote their services within KPMG. I also did that. I was doing it the whole time. The time. And I worked for, and that was in Dublin. I worked for the Institute for International Research in Ireland, no, in uh, London and in New York, which was amazing. And I learned about knowledge and uh, messaging and how to connect with someone, how for a message to be reached by them. And the day-to-day -day work, I mean, I started as a temp uh, with sheets of paper, calling people pre-GDPR, calling people to find the name of the person with the right title and the address that we could send him stuff. This is pre-social uh, media, any of that. I worked for the construction division of the State Rail Authority in New South Wales in Australia, helping them go from a government agency into a commercial body where all of their services would be in, co in competition with every construction company. We had to teach people how to understand language because they were people from all over the world that lived in different pockets throughout the company and learned where to put the X on the page, how to get people to think differently in, from a quality perspective, from a marketing perspective, from a sales perspective. I worked for the largest firm of management recruiters in the world in uh, Oakland, California, where we looked at the top and that was in a sales perspective and matching people with their passions. So I, and I've worked with uh, online image banks to create licensing deals, to take uh, images and pictures from actually early printed books in Trinity at one point, working with Barnes and Noble and stuff and matching people together to bring these people to life. So it's quite eclectic yeah, it is. mix and worked for a small consultancy practice in Ireland uh, <clears throat> when I came back home and started working with small to medium sized business, very small, and then growing, growing, growing. And then um, I developed this process. I was asked to do training. I had a client actually, and they were based in Dublin in the greeting card industry. And they moved to the west of Ireland and their staff loved them so much. All their staff went to them with them as well. And one of the enterprise boards over there um, wanted to meet me because they said, we don't understand how someone has come all this way 
and brought you with them as their advisor. <clears throat> and so I started doing some work with them in the West. And I built, nobody understood marketing or definitely strategic marketing. Mm. So I wanted to kind of demystify it. So I built this process that it would be step by step to make it easy to understand stuff. And, um, and so I created that. And that was 1999, so it's a while ago. <laughs> and I delivered it then in groups. I then delivered it in one-to-one. -one. I delivered it in the US, in Canada, one-to-one, -one, and in groups in the UK to see if it wasn't just something unique to Ireland and it wasn't. It was, it was about patterning because I kept seeing patterns. Yeah. I'm good at seeing patterns. Yeah. Um, and I saw that people hit the walls at the same time. And actually that could be a small one-man show or it could be a company who's 10 years old, who was very large. And I'm thinking spe of specific companies when I do this because it comes in cycles. We hit these walls in cycles and I just saw too many people crying uh, hidden walls when everyone's there's so many people have been there before yeah. and I saw things like the gem report which is the global entrepreneurship monitor and things like this and I just didn't understand why do we not have this map yes. to take this journey mm -hmm. you've heard me say this before if someone's been there before there's got to be a map yeah. there is there is uh, but I got to a point where if someone sat with me for 10 minutes, I knew where they were. Mm. I could tell you're hitting this wall, aren't you? And, yeah. and people were uh, <clears throat> devastated by hitting these walls, yet everyone hit them and nobody knew. Yeah. We were all hitting the walls. Yeah, yeah. And again, that doesn't make sense to me. Why do we need to hit a wall? Yeah. Can't you prepare for it? So I set about building this process to help you see where you were and then move around it. Yeah. And I know in your program, because I've done it, yeah. you highlight in sections, here's where people hit the wall. Yeah. Right? So you actually alert us to, this could be coming, here's now what you need to do. Yeah, there's three of them. Three mm -hmm. walls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Want to know what they are? Tell us. <laughs> the walls first wall it's they're complex right so it's not simple one word but i wrap it up in one word the first wall is identity yeah. identity that revolves around vision around who you who you are first mm -hmm. beyond the garden shed where you're going i'm amazing yes but tell everyone else <laughs> so oh, yeah. it's identity it's a vision it's having the balls to think beyond it's going outside and then finding the customer that matches that vision and then building something to help them to bring the two of you together. Your product or your service is your bridge between you and your customer. Yes. That's identity. Yes. Then the next wall you'll hit, you think you will hit people hiring. You won't. That's, that's, that's the uh, diversion. The next thing you should put in place is systems. systems. Systems that provide for growth. Yeah. And then the next wall you'll hit will be people. And if you don't have the systems, for those people, ready for those people, you might as well go back to stage two. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this is the other thing that I find very interesting and very curious is that after 10 years, you are going to go back to identity again. You will go cyclically. And I've worked with companies. My, when I was doing pure consulting and not this online stuff as well, um, what happens with this cycle is that generally I, my I find clients or clients find me because they're on the cusp of change. When yes. they're about to grow, yeah. that's when they find me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's when I found you. Yeah, every client. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. I was going to say, so uh, you have these three walls and you obviously work individually with your clients. They're on the cusp of change. They're on the cusp of growth. And you have these these phases of growth and development you also have your online programs yes can you say a little bit about those yeah delighted <laughs> so they're very exciting Flo. they're exciting yeah i'm really passionate about it and i'm also passionate about how people really resonate with them because it's so i'm a real believer in when as much as we uncover truth and uncover brand we must uncover our own formulas for success our own marketing formula Yes. And we cannot do that until we look. Yeah. And we are 
unfortunately bombarded by so much information and it's always niche markets, niche pieces, like a piece about video, a piece about Instagram, a piece about blogging, a piece about trade shows, a piece about, you know, all of this. It's overwhelming for us entrepreneurs. Like it, yeah. it just is. Like, where do I go? Where do I start? So I built something that could connect it. And it's, it's a way to look at every piece of the puzzle in, in a bite-sized chunk. Mm-hmm. And a way that is accessible, that's small, and it says, so it so and that it grows for you, so that you can go in step one. And yet, yes, I advocate this straight line through the program, but straight lines don't happen in business mm-hmm. unless we craft them that way. But the learning curve will never be straight, but we can smooth it. But the thing is that you do your best to go straight as you can and come in and out. It's for me, this program is companion more than it is start, yes. middle, end. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the process, because what's built is not just the facts, it's a combination of foundational strategic work and implementation. But it's about discovering or uncovering the path that suits you best. It's a map, but it's your path. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So the questions are sometimes enlightening, sometimes reassuring, and sometimes frustrating as hell because you have to poke. And I'm poking. My job is to poke around and go a little deeper. Yeah, yeah. So it's important then in that context that I commit on the program, that every question is answered in the program. Mm -hmm. But also there's this wonderful community that every week I will go in and do something live. I'm doing once a month, we do live member spotlight. So mm-hmm. someone can be live mentored in the group in the safe space. It's very, it's not an open group. No way. I know. <laughs> because it, it, everyone must be safe and know we are together and we are on the same journey. Yeah. And that, and the brave nature of the person, like the member spotlight is, is a gift to the person who's on because they're getting live mentored Mm. but it's also a gift to the people who are watching because they're showing someone else is going through this too wow and i I can help them by saying this is what i learned and together we crack it so you're not alone no and actually finola what i will say is what you've created there is definitely a community space yeah that feels like it feels like a community space um entrepreneurship can be quite isolating at times. And this community space is an incredible resource for people. So not only are they getting how great marketing works, map and program that they do. Yeah. Um, I was the person who, as my business journeyed, I dipped in and dipped out because that's what really worked for me. Yeah. Community space where people share their challenges and are live mentored by you, we're all learning. Yeah. Because that okay. challenge is our challenge. Yeah. You know, and as you said, there's a map. We can figure this out because it's been figured out before. I think that's the point. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. totally the point. And the other thing I wanted to do, because one of the skill sets I have over the years of working in consulting and actively networking is I know great people, mm-hmm. not just how great marketing works, but I know great people who do what they do. So yeah. we have, I, I developed a process or a formula mm-hmm. that I could invite people that whose work I know and respect and I know who give value that I could get a one price fits for all of them, that they would agree to the same rate yeah. to work with uh, entrepreneurs in this program at the same rate as everybody else. So that I wasn't negotiating individual contracts that you could sign up for the ad, the expert offering and you could work with any of these and we've 28 so far and it's growing. Yeah. Um, and you're one of them. <laughs> you know what, Fanola? I actually went in and had another look at it today. I looked at your website today and I went into the get strategic, get results piece. Yeah. I, I, I seen it before. I was blown away by it, honestly. Just the structure, the tiered nature of it. Yeah. So I want, to kind of, I want you to share with people why you've set it up that way. But what really also strikes me is how affordable it is. Yeah, it is. Like it, it is. Relative to other programs that claim to offer similar things, it's incredibly accessible. Well, I have to own my own journey, you know, and my 
and it's not to be corny it is i had too many times of people being desperate coming to my door for me to help i had too many times of seeing and I know too many horror stories of people getting the wrong advice at the wrong time or the right advice at the wrong time or just not getting what they needed and closing businesses yeah. or taking longer, yeah. more difficult road because there was no access to what they needed and they didn't even know what to ask for. Yeah. And I just have this, I just want the road to be easier. Yeah. And the road can be, and I just distilled it for myself. I distilled it down. What are the four things? Four mm -hmm. things is one, you've got a map. Okay, we've got the map now. Two, you need feedback. You need to be able to get feedback on what you do to know if it's crap or not, right? Yeah. Honest feedback, yeah. Yeah. And three, you need to, and the a real key thing, experts up the ante. They help you go to the next stage because you can't know everything. You know, we have many hats. We don't always have to wear them all. You know, we can ask for help. Mm -hmm. And so that was that. And then the fourth option being having someone to hold a picture when you can't, to hold a vision when you can't because your back is to the wall and you need a way out. Yeah. So for me, that was. I was just going to say, I love that. To hold the vision when you can't. Somebody who's going to say, I've got this. I'm going to keep you anchored to this. Yeah, so I can see. It's the thing I can see. It's the thing I, uh, for years, I, I, working with clients, I've found myself saying, it's okay, I can see it. I can see it. So believe in my belief. <laughs> like it is. Believe in my belief. And like that, that feels great because when we're out of our comfort zone and we can't see and we're, and when you hire an expert, you're trusting that they see what you can't see. Well, I'll tell you also really good. It's not just about my feedback on those people I can vouch for every one of them with hand on heart I know them so well but I also built into the program that you can give testimonials for everyone so when you go and pick around going who will I work with this month you can actually read what everyone else has written Great. to know if they're any good yeah because I, I, I'm going to be that awful I'm going to say well you've got not only are you good because I know you're good you got to stay good girl <laughs> So, yeah, standard expected here <laughs> yeah and um but back to the question of why is it so cheap right mm. it's because why should people have to suffer without the right advice and i just thought it's i wanted to give something back mm. but i also wanted to find a way that made sense from because i am a business owner and it had to make sense but i wanted it to be accessible and accessible is often about how long does it take and how much does it cost yeah so how long does it take is the course itself 10 minutes you can do 10 minute uh video every in every morning or once a week mm -hmm. go at your own pace mm -hmm. 10 minutes we all have 10 minutes we do and if you do the exercises maybe it's going to go to 30 minutes that mm -hmm. day yeah Sometimes they'll groove in on you and you can work on it afterwards. You'll have better impact if you do the exercises, but you will absorb some by either watching or listening or reading because I wanted all this, all the senses, the way, whatever way people learn. Yeah. And I'm breaking all the rules, which is challenging because most training programs are a defined amount. Programs of this size are generally two to 3,000. Uh, I didn't want that. I wanted it to be affordable. So I made it $15 a month. Yeah. So it gets stripped. And, yeah. you know, after four months, you full access anyway. So, yeah, I mean, 60 bucks. <laughs> who, can't, who can't do that? And it's because it's companion. But it was that you, anyone could have it. It's accessibility. Anyone can have it. Yeah, and at any stage of their business growth as well. That's what I loved yeah. about it. I was in business for all of 15 years when I yeah. started to do the program and it was so relevant and so valuable to me. So I think at any stage, this is something that you can do as a companion to where you're at. Um, I'm conscious of the time. I do want to ask you, when should people, because you're on your own expert panel, <laughs> <laughs> when should people seek Finola Howard out? Brand and journey, I would say. Okay. So if you're looking at identity stuff, 
it's my passion is identity it forms the cornerstone of your path mm -hmm. it's your anchor it it actually helps you visualize where you're going and who you are to drive you on um, and also a really good time to talk to me is if you're stuck or yeah. if I mean some of the advice I'm going to give somebody is you need to talk to Marianne or mm -hmm. you need to talk to Rob or you need to talk to Lucy or you need to and, I, and here's why yeah. and actually in the the last part of this is I will help you map every person you need on the path because I can see the path yeah 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 well so those two things and you know, I'm in there every week anyway, so. I know, and actually, I, I do know you as a person who connects people to the people that they need. Yeah. I do know you as that person. Um, your own question that I'm going to now ask you back yeah. is, what are your top three tips based on okay. all of your years of experience, your unique perspective, what are the top three tips you would give any entrepreneur? So I have my, I usually do this by post-it notes. <laughs> so I remind myself. Well, my number one, okay. Ta -da. <laughs> um, understand where you are on the journey. Because like if you're at the start and on, or if you are, is to, to self-reflect a little bit to see where you are. Oh, yeah. Um, and what you're trying to achieve instead of, and it's about this whole idea of stepping out of it. And I mean, I remember being when I was first developing this program and it was in 1999 or 2000 or something like this. And I remember going around because I was doing it in person going around and people would say, but Fanola, that means we really have to think about this. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> you have to think about this. Uh, it's yeah. like my brain hurts stuff. So it's self-reflection thing. It's how can you move out of entrepreneurs are doers. We're like, yeah. do, 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 do. Yeah. So we need to move out of it and reflect and sit and go, where am I? Yeah. Am I in a rabbit hole? Am I split too much? Am I losing money? Yeah. Am I about to lose money? Yeah. Am I scared? Yeah. Uh, am I stuck? Am I excited but overwhelmed? Yeah. And don't know how to prepare for this growth yeah. because they can flip either way. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need support both times. So understand where you are on it. You know, that's my first one. So valuable. Yeah. Yeah. Second one I would say is actively listen to what your customers are reaching out to tell you. Ooh. And say this, more. <laughs> let's say it again. Actively listen to what your customers are reaching out to tell you. And that's, they are reaching out to tell you. Because even if they are silent, their silence is reaching out to tell you. Yeah, there's a message in silence too. Yeah. And it's just that you haven't quite honed the message or the offering right yet. And it is like, what does this teach me? It's don't go into panic. Listen. Mm -hmm. The answer, marketplace will always teach you the answer. Always. If you it may not give you the full answer, but you will always have the next step. And you only need the next step at certain points in the journey. For sure. Because the next step, it's like, you know, you're on this mountain and you're coming up this mountain and the next step, you'll get a bigger perspective. Yeah. And you just need the next one and the next one to get to the top of the mountain to see it all. Yeah. Yeah. But each step change is perspective. Yeah. So I am a strategist. I do believe in long-term planning and vision and seeing a way through and big picture, but I also know there's time for the next step. Mm -hmm. And I always trust, because I've never been left down, that the next step will reveal what I need to know. Completely. Completely. Without exception, I'm doing this too long for me to ignore it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's because you possibly have to change with that next step. You will see something that makes you have a different perspective than you had previously. Yeah, yeah. I see it in my coaching practice all the time, Finola. Until you take one step, the other step isn't revealed. Exactly. That's exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. Tip number three. Number three is connect everything you do or what you do will be fragmented. Mm. Now, what I mean by that is campaign planning or anything around that 
because we live in this world now where we have all these niche experts, there's a tendency to do one thing, one Twitter thing, one LinkedIn thing, one thing here, one thing here, one thing here. You won't have that symphony that happens with great marketing if you haven't reined them in and put them together mm. so that they really work. Yeah. This is not easy, by the way. <laughs> and there's commitment and dedication to that. Yeah. And bravery. <laughs> yeah. And it is about seeing it, planning it, and it can be overwhelming. But if you do it, you can do it step by step before you launch such a campaign or do things like this. But to find these layers to this story that you're weaving yeah. that will pull somebody in will have the greatest impact on your marketing and that it's grounded in truth. Yes. Because your truth is revealed in fragments. It's your, your untruths are also revealed in fragments. Mm -hmm. And it's where something disconnects is your clue to pull it in as part of the overall thing. Yeah. Or you have leakage or you have, and so I always look for the connection. I look for, mm, yeah, does this fit? Does this fit? Does this fit? Mm -hmm. And when it fits, it's woven. Yeah. I love that. And it works. That's mm -hmm. yeah, great marketing. It's, um, Finola, it's, it's wonderful. And I know from working with you, you take what can be quite a complex thing and you systemize it. Yeah. And that's the beauty of it because it doesn't have to be as complicated provided you have the systems behind it so that, you know, it does seamlessly weave in. Uh, yeah. And your cloth. Yeah. It's your cloth. Yeah. Because mm. then it fits and that when it fits, it's yours. Oh. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yes. It's lovely. <laughs> We got um, uh, the world saying yes to us. <laughs> that was a sign from the universe um, that uh, we are nearly, I think we are nearly out of time, but I just, I, I guess I want to close off by saying like people should work with you. Oh, thank you. People should work with you and how incredible the program is. The great marketing work works with the, with the get strategic, get results piece and the mentorship that's available yeah. through that. It's an incredible resource. People just need to know that it's there. Yeah, let's tell them. You're unstoppable.